Bit of a manager, a coach, finally. Um, foreign manager as such, uh, tongue in cheek. But yeah, <clears throat> if you didn't know, uh, we have got a manager coach, Neil Collins from Tampa Bay Rowdies. Phone's still going off. Uh, yeah, so we've got a 39 year old coach, Neil Collins. Uh, reading up on quite a bit of things, a few things about him, hearing, reading certain things from Tampa Bay Rowdy's fans. They're sorry to see him go. Uh, they respect him a lot. They like him a lot. Done quite a bit as well. Uh, I was reading a few, a few, a few of his stats, and we'll go into some pros and cons uh, about him. So I started off his playing career with Queen's Park. Went on, went to Dumbarton. Come a bit south at border if you want to Sunderland, just off at border, really. Uh, playing career from 2004 to 2007, Championship, a uh, couple of um, appearances in Premier League with Sunderland in 2005 6. Went on loan, then to Out the Pool, then Sheffield United, um, a bit in a bottom about, then got a permanent move to Wolverhampton Wonders 2006. We're here until 2010, so again, making quite a few appearances for our clubs. Preston North End went there for a season before he went to Leeds, Leeds United. Again, a couple of seasons. Then he had a decent stint then from 2010. 2016, where he played in Championship and League One, should be Sheffield United. So again, knows the Yorkshire area quite well. Port Vale uh, went for one season on loan before he went overseas to Tampa Bay Rowdies. First off as a player, been a coach, been a technical director. So, again, quite a, quite a, you know, travel man, uh, North League. So, again, we'll come on to pros and cons. We'll start with, you know, cons, I don't want to negative, but we'll call it a con. Did anybody see this one coming? I think we can all safely say no. Didn't even see him in betting. We won't know which new way with book is with that. So, didn't really know what about him, being honest. And I think that's fair enough for Majority of Barnsley fans. Um, he's never coached in English league, but again, we'll come to a, a you know positive in a minute. So again, he's not he's not coaching um, English league. Went abroad. Some people say, yeah, it's you know in MLS. Uh, sorry, it's not MLS. It's you know the, the tier down U US L. I think it is called USL. So again. A few cons there. Um, that's all I can really think about at the minute, if I'm being honest. Don't really know him. Uh, knew him bits and bobs as a player. Been looking on certain video clips on YouTube and that. But as a, as a coach, manager, whatever they call him in America, uh, didn't really know what about him. Like I say, MLS kind of watch, but league's further down. It's trying to get to footage about him. So the pros about him. Uh, 39 year old um, another pro for me is that a coach coming over from America it's a big move for him uh, a big move for his family so I think that's a pro is in bounds regard not every someone like a Michael Duff where um, his, his family and that's based on Cheltenham so it's a travel so you like to think that he'd be moving into the area uh, so for, for me that's a pro you know, more in the, the area, so not much travel time. So I wouldn't say full, uh, more committed because it's a bit unfair that as in more committed, but I, I think you can kind of guess what I'm on about with uh, not taking the travel into account. So it's got to be a, a long, hard decision, but where he is moving over from America, it's not as if it's like a couple of hours in a car, it's like he's not going to get a private jet over to America. So for, for me, that's a pro. Another pro is that is it his playing career been about a bit and to actually move over to America to make it to try and achieve things and progress. That for me is a, a pro is in that is not like just resting on it, is to try to make something at his end. Still young, like I said, 39 year old. So again, for me, that's a pro. I think another pro, it'd be, if we're looking in the market, and we all know we've got limited funds, if any, to spend. 
we're looking in this league or these leagues, you know, in, um, close to home for players. Will Neil Collins know players in America, even at Tampa Bay Rowdies? Because let's be honest, when, you know, Duff left Cheltenham and come to Barnsley, we said, I wonder if he's going to go in for Alpha May and go back. Then when Duff leaves us, we have been saying, I wonder if he's going to come back and take some of our players. So in the same respect, would Neil Collins know of any players, also necessarily at Tampa Bay Rowdies, but in that league where it might be more attractive? Obviously, there's going to be work permits and visa issues and all that kind of stuff. But apart from that, would he be able to identify any you you know young players in a, a market to tap into uh, to come over and play for Barnsley? Who knows? It could be a good a good uh, relationship if we could uh, make with. Uh, teams over there. I want to break into the market, but at least be known. Um, and why not? Why not utilise it if we can? Um, and again, not just getting in place for the player's sake, but what he knows about. So again, a few pros, a few cons, you know, a uh, two-year deal. I'm hoping is a, you know, is going to be here for a bit longer than that because I think we all need stability crying out for it. I just hope it's not going to be used as like a stepping stone and wants to move on. I'm hoping that because he comes over here like now, nah, touch wood all being well in the area, that he, he wants to he wants to commit. He wants to, you know, see that build some it build on the foundations. Another pro as well is that the, he likes the sim you know the three at the back the foot and all that kind of style of football. So that I press tempo, not going to be altering it, you know, and completely, I want to rip up the blueprint, but it's not going to be go complete polar opposite. So again, all be well should be a, an easier, smoother transition. Players, I'm hoping will buy into it and get full support to, to Gaffer, like we will. Like I said, one a name that I saw coming, but I think another pro as well is that I'm not even going to pronounce his name, the Derry City manager. Uh, I call him Mr. Higgins because, you know, I, I won't even know how to pronounce his, his first name. Um, I know there are quite a lot going, but I don't want... Um, some people might say, yeah, but Neil Collins is, is coming from America. We've never really heard him. But in the same respect, when you look at his, his record, his Tampa Bay Rowdies, I mean, I'm looking at it here. Uh, I've just got a few clips, a uh, few uh, statements here. So, uh, Rowdies went on to finish in 2018, season 12th in the USL Eastern Conference table under difficult circumstances. So, that went 2018, right? Uh, with Collins commenting that we have players retiring for a variety of reasons, getting serious injuries and other off field problems. It was one thing after another. But then, to finish fifth the season after, it you know it must have knuckled down and sorted it out. So again, a kind of manager coach that you want address the issues. Rowdies finished top of the table in 2020 season, which brought to an early end to the deciding points game due to COVID and all that. Playoffs continued, uh, but that were cancelled. Collins was named USL Championship Coach of the Year, uh, 23 wins in top flight in 2021 regular season. Went to the playoffs. And coach of month for July 2022. So again, what highlights that month for me is that he knew back in 2018 that there were issues, players retiring, off-field issues, whatever it was, and they finished uh, 12th. Finished 12th. But the season after, he finished 5th. So again, not reading too much into that. And obviously, it'll, you know, it'll, be, it'll have been a big part of that. And that's refreshing to me is that he's not going to accept substandard, a bit like Duff. He won't accept uh, poor standards. With season before that, it kind of was a norm. So I'm hoping that he carries on that vein of form. Again, some Tampa Bay Audi uh, fans have messaged me on Twitter and everything like that. They were sorry to see him go. Um, they like his attitude where it's very passionate on the touchline, bombing up and down. I think there's a clip on Twitter where he's 
remonstrating with uh, some security guy or something. Uh, so again, being a bit hotter, being a Scot, I'll take that all day long. Uh, we might end up with a few more penalties going our way. It might be uh, line or zero. Uh, but no, I'll take that. I mean, it'd be interesting to get your thoughts on this as well. Uh, comment below. Please like, subscribe and share. Obviously that. But yeah, what, what's your thoughts on uh, Neil Collins? Apparently he's having a, uh, just looking on a statement on, on a club. Um, apparently he's going to have a week or so, knowing the, the staff, the you know, the personnel at club players more than likely will be watching the d -d 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 file game, you'd like to think, and it's be, be, be behind closed doors, but he'll be able to get some more work in. Devaney still at the club as well. So, again, another pro for me as well. Devaney, uh, I'm going to say one of Mr. Bounds at, at the club is still there. So, I think that'll be a valuable experience for Neil Collins for the youth and the young coming up from the academy. So that would be a good combination there. And like I say, see what happens like now. Three weeks, roughly three weeks to go before uh, the season starts. So, yeah. Manager in. Devane is still here. Get some players in. We identify some players. Get some players in. Let's see what can happen. See if we can push on. See if Neil Collins is uh, set standards and carry on building. I'm hoping he's here for more than a season. I'm hoping he's here for a you know two, three seasons, four seasons, wishful thinking. But you know, uh, why not? It's about time something happened. And fingers crossed, touch wood. It's um, it's going to be a man to take this on. It's happened under Stendhal and Struber before we. Uh, have come in re relatively unknown. Um, open its third time, you know, third time strike with Neil Collins. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, let us know your comments and thoughts. It's going to be interesting this with the, you know, with the thoughts coming in. Some people will probably treat this as a bit like Marmite. It might be for us, it might not be for us, but whatever is here, uh, back him. We, we, we always will. And that's one thing that Balance fans do, do, no matter what. Uh, coach manager comes in we, we do back them good or bad um it's always it's always worse when it's not going right home and away but all being well we can get behind him um he can get the team buzzing and playing like we did last season and knock on from there build on from it um stronger and better bigger and better because it's bouncing it's in the blood of my love um so, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment below. Uh, I will answer everything. One thing left to say, you reds.